Hello Gemini, welcome to your January 2018 reading. Uh, I hope that uh, you've had a happy new year. I wish you a prosperous, healthy and abundant new year ahead. So happy new year to all you Geminis. If you haven't already done so, you might like to go to uh, the, my video on the yearly projections or yearly forecast for 2018. You might find that really helpful and interesting. It's a month by month breakdown of the energies that are open to you and available to you for each month of 2018 and how best to utilize and plan to use that energy to reach the best possible outcome for you in 2018. That's a general reading. If you would like a personalized 2018 forecast, you can go to my website and book for a personalized forecast. That offer is available till the end of January 2018. So it's a limited time only offer. If you'd like to take advantage of that, you can uh, follow the link and book for one of those uh, readings. You can also book for a personal reading and that's where we can look at specific questions you might have, uh, love, family, finance, career, whatever it is that you're wanting answers for or you know you can make it a general reading where all of those things uh, are looked at. So if you're interested in a personalized reading follow the link below and make a booking for one of those readings as well. I'd like to also thank you all for subscribing to my channel, for liking my channel and for leaving your wonderful comments. Uh, I enjoy reading them. It also helps me to connect with my subscribers and in connecting the energies connected and it also brings out the best in the readings for you once that connection's made. I'd like to thank all those people that have booked for private readings as well. It's been really nice to connect to my subscribers and um, help you on your journey. So I've enjoyed those, those private readings that I've had with all you wonderful subscribers as well. So thank you for that. So shall we get on with your reading, your monthly reading and see what's available to you uh, energetically here, what's going on in January for Gemini. I've already done the spread um, and then I'll uh, take out a few other cards to get a little bit more depth and a bit more detail in it. Okay, so what's around you is the uh, Knight of Wands and I feel like you're going to get to January and hit the ground running. I feel like it's going to be a, a, a real uh, energy where you're going to want to put things into action. It's about action. Pages are about planning process. The Knights are really about action, forging forward, uh, uncharted territories, being brave enough to move forward and you're going to have this real urge to uh, move forward on plans and ideas and uh, things that you uh, have been thinking about but it's now time to take action. I feel like for some of you it's moving forward. It's moving forward to make situation more comfortable, more what you're wanting out of life, making it more about what, what you're seeking and no longer are there to accommodate and and do for other people and that seems to be the general theme with the signs this this month in January it's it's about no longer wanting to be of uh, influenced by people around you but really finding out what makes you tick what do you want what makes you happy and one what direction do you want to move in and and this night is really uh, signals to me for you a real determination to move in a direction that you want to move in. What is going to sit well with you? What do you want to do? Uh, what direction are you moving in? What are you going to allow in your life and what don't you want in your life? And fight for it, really, really move it on. So it's it's going to be a really, you're going to just feel really energized. You're going to feel like you're re it's really like come on, let's go, let's get things moving, let's get things moving. You know, here you've also got the eight of coins, you know, and it's about, gee, I feel like with you, Geminis, it's about getting back in touch with your creativity, with working with your creativity, with working 
with a pro with projects that you've always want things that you've always wanted to do projects you've always wanted to undertake um, things that you've always had in the pipeline it's now time that I want to move forward with this something that's creative something that's going to really nurture me feed my soul working into the night I feel like you're working into the night with this with this um, with this stuff it really is about using your imagination your creativity uh, in in these projects in what you want to what you want to do with it so it's that energy of bringing in all these new ideas and putting them into place um, and having an outlet for your creativity which is really important which is really important it really is important because it taps into your emotions it taps into your emotions it taps into the emotional side of you um, of you Gemini um, you see look you've got two <laughs> Gemini the twins um, and that's going to produce it's going to open up your heart chakra it's going to put you in a place of really being open and I feel like it's open as far as relationships go as well you're going to start exuding and giving out a different sort of energy because you are being more creative and you are being more content with where you're at and what you're doing and your heart chakra heals and starts to open up which allows for a lot of opportunity to come in it's like goodness overflowing it could for some of you even just be the sheer pleasure of um, doing something creative being out in nature getting inspiration from nature getting inspiration from what's around you um, and working with it uh, so, so it's really uh, positive it's really a positive energy um, energy for you it's really lovely it's really it's really nice um, you know and what that does is it opens new doorways it opens new doorways I feel like um, I feel like for some Gemini's there's going to be a real reluctance or a fear to move through that doorway a fear of moving forward into the into what is really the unknown where am I moving to uh, what am I going to be bringing into my life if I release if I release all this stuff from the past what is there for me in the future uh, and it's about having the drive and having the passion and having the courage to move forward to move through these doors because I feel like some areas are going to do it and skip through and just really embrace it and want to get to the other side and it's about time after everything we've been through it's just about time to to get through and see what's on the other side so there's excitement for some Gemini there's a there's it's like a, a slow walk through and and peering through the cracks and seeing what's there and I want to know what's what's in what is ahead before I make that move so it's about really getting the courage to to forge forward to move forward to move forward because in the past there has been this real searching this real um, emotion emotion it's really been situations that have caused you to go beneath the surface situations that have caused you to really go into the past situations that have really stirred and brought up um, things that are from the past that have surfaced and it's about letting it surface and releasing it there's still some residual there there's still some resistance there you're not quite there yet you're not quite there in releasing it all but it allow it to come up to the surface and then release it acknowledge it and release it you don't have to completely understand it but there's a real cleansing of it but it, it's going to go deep it's it's been going deep and you've done a lot of work you've done a lot of work um, in in letting all this from the past move on so that you can move forward with with uh, what's ahead for you that's going to happen in January you know uh, I think the beginning of January there's going to be this reflection into the past and things that have gone on and things that have happened and then that release and then by week two you're going to find you having a hard time sitting still you just want to take action you want to put things in place you want to get in touch with your creativity you want to put these new plans into place okay so uh, what's ahead for you too is you know to be this divine being this divine uh, spirit this 
knowing what direction you're going in. So I feel like halfway through January, week three, you're going to feel like this uh, this calmness, is, which is a contrast to this fire energy. It's just going to become this calmness, this like you, you can, you know what, where you're going, you can see into the future, you can see that things are getting better, you can see what you want to put into place. Um, and it's this wonderful um, sureness, this wonderful calmness that is going to just take over for you. Uh, this, uh, I want to say, realization, they want me to use that word realization. There's a realization about something a realization about something for you and you're okay with it you are okay with it uh, when you know with that realization because you know that it's just something that's it's, a, it's something that's going to pass you're going to move through it you're going to move through it okay it's <clears throat> I feel like for you Gemini too in January there's going to be something that comes up that um you're not going to feel is fair. You're not going to feel is balanced. You're not going to feel that it was it's it's right. Um, someone I feel like someone is going to do something that I think you're going to feel a little bit upset about, um, annoyed about. You know, it's not a huge thing, but I feel like it is going to affect you in uh, to, to varying degrees about something that's got to be shared, something that's got to be divided, something that's got to be balanced out um, and you, you're feeling it's not done fairly. There wasn't that even uh, balancing, you know. Um, so I don't quite know how you're going to react about I think, you know, the reactions are going to vary here. Some are going to be resigned to, oh, well, that's just how it is. I'm moving on because there's other things that I want to get on with. And others of you are going to be really hurt by it and want, I want to say revenge, really. You want to really even out that, even out those scales, even out those scales. So, um, you know, I'm not quite sure which way around that's going to sit for you. But, you know, you Just understand that it's all part of the learning process. It all, it's all part, it's lessons, learn from it. It's all part of the learning process. It's knowledge and skill that you're taking forward. And by that happening, it's going to define more strongly for you what it is you do want. What do you want to bring into your life? The magician manifests, the magician brings things in. So I think that is something that's going to be shown to you in order for you to be more definite about what you want to bring in and what you want to create around you. What newness do you want to create for 2018? Don't bring old energy in to the year because it's going to be quite a good year for new things for you, new pathways, new, you know, you've learnt a whole lot and it, it's, you can take that with you and you're just going to move forward, you're going to move up, your, your world is going to open up, it's going to open up and there's going to be new opportunities for you, there's new paths for you. Um, new things that are going to come in. I feel like there's new things that are going to come in for you, which is really, um, really good. I'll look into that a little bit more uh, with another card. But, you know, it's, um, I feel like by the end of January, you're going to feel really confident. You're going to feel really confident. Two cards came out for that. You know, it's also the Queen of Coins. The Queen of Coins can also be um, male or female. It's, it's, doesn't matter, uh, but I feel like that's you. You're going to feel really strong, really confident. It's about communication. It's about um, being strong. It's about communication um, that you're going to instigate. Communication, whether you're going to write, you're going to start writing, you're going to start sending emails, um, there's going to be some sort of communication, but you're going to be sitting pretty. You're going to be in a position of clarity, of strength, uh, of calmness. Um, secure, you're secure about where you're at and what you're saying and where you want to move to. So there is going to be some exchanges uh, in communication in, uh, in January, the end of January. It could be with this 
with this situation here that wasn't quite fair and you've reached a point of uh, being calm using your experience and what you've learned to deal with that situation via email oh excuse me that's jumped out so I'll take this one um, so you know you you um, respond to that in calmness rather than in the in the heat of the moment when it happens allow some time to so what I would say to you here is what I'm getting is allow some time to process whatever it is that's going to come up process it don't react immediately process it and then respond um, you know respond with it look I feel like you're going to be moving it doesn't really matter what's going on here it's irrelevant it's about releasing it letting it go it, you know it's not important because there's just so much good for you there's so much there that you can um, do a lot of signs have got this where they can pick and choose they've got a whole lot of ideas a whole lot of projects nothing's going to be impossible what do you want to bring forward what do you want to create what do you want to do with with that um, with the opportunities that you have created? Because you're the magician, you have created those, you've brought those in. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, get a card for you out of this. This is the Saltwater Reading Card Deck from um, Laura Bowen, which I love. It's all about ocean, water, um, sea life. Um, which is really lovely. I thought that was appropriate because it's summer here in Australia and it's about beach and water and seaside. And I thought that was a nice thing to, to use. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere and it's winter, I hope you can get some of this sunshine and, and uh, warmth that we've got down here coming through for you. So what you've got here is the bubbler crab. And it's about, appropriately, creativity. It's about creativity. And Gemini, I feel like this is what is here for you. It's about getting in touch with your creativity. The bubbler crab is very creative. It's only a tiny little crab. It lives under the sand. And it's about, um, you know, when it's low tide, it feeds. And, and the only way you know that it's there is because it's in the sand. These little grains of uh, sand are around its its little home and when the tide comes in they they go under and under the sand and little bubbles come up to the surface they're quite creative about how they survive because they've got predators everywhere and they've got no line of defense so they're quite creative about how they exist uh, it's about getting in touch with your creativity it's about getting in touch with your imagination it's about getting out there in nature if you've got any projects that you want to um, start any interests art jewelry painting um, sculpting uh, anything that is going to that you're interested in that will stimulate your creativity then January is the time to get in tune with that in touch with that because that will also allow the flow of all these other things because it's going to open up your heart chakra and allow all this goodness to come through for the beginning of 2018 which is really fabulous so I hope that was beneficial for you Gemini I wish you all a very happy new year great start to 2018 again if you would like to book a uh, yearly forecast uh, personalized yearly forecast follow the link to my website or if you would like to book a reading a personalized reading uh, for you or for somebody else uh, follow the link below and uh, you can uh, do that happy new year